So today we decided to head into London. Here we are at the tube station in Harrow. We hadn't visited London in around five years, so we were scared of getting lost, but hopefully we were gonna find our way into the city. So these are some of the trains that head from Harrow Wealdstone to London and also to the north. This is the train that we're going to take into central London. The journey takes around 45 minutes from Harrow to Oxford Circus. There are a lot of stops along the way, but I guess it's all part of the fun. And you get to see other parts of London too along the way. Because we were at the beginning of the journey, there weren't many people at first, but as we got closer and closer to the city, obviously a lot more people joined it. In case you didn't already know, you need a zip card or an Oyster card to get access to the train services in London. Here the we are at Oxford Circus, as you can probably tell, it's quite busy. Um, we got there around 1.30ish and there are clearly a lot of shops in this street. And Oxford Circus is a collection of streets that have famous brands like Kiko Milano and Gucci and Givenchy and the Apple Store and windows and all sorts of stores with a lot more options than you'd normally get if you went to your local store. Because here we are at H&M and they have a lot more clothing options that you don't normally find in your local shopping centre. Now, corona restrictions have been slightly lifted. Not completely though, because you still have to wear your mask inside shops. And in some cases, they do make you wait outside if the shop is particularly small or there are too many people. We even managed to find H&M Home, which is H&M's shop that sells home accessories, such as like mugs and kitchen stuff and bedroom decorations and storage. They have an interesting collection with a lot of options and the store is nicely decorated too. So if you want to pick up some things to decorate your house, then go ahead. We then headed straight to Soho, which is filled with shops such as the Ray-Bans, Adidas, um, Levi's, Vans, um, Benefit and all these different sorts of things. Um, we then wandered over to L&N which is a famous TikTok shop which has a lot of nice desserts to try and beautiful interior decoration. Very pink, very neon, there's arcade games to play and drinks to have. Um, the service is also very nice and friendly too. The queues are quite long though, around like half an hour to get inside if on a busy day. But if you head there on non-peak times, I think you take your time to have, enjoy all the scenery that is on display and a lot of nice photos too. 
We then headed straight to an American shop that sold exclusively American goods and sweets, though a bit expensive, and then to House of Fraser, which is sort of like Debenhams, which sells um, branded purses and shoes and makeup and stuff, as well as clothes and kitchenware, just all sorts of things. Basically a department store. So we did thoroughly enjoy our trip to London and we hope we can go again soon to see other parts of London too. Thank you for watching.